that a hack? No, it's just my screwed it up. Sorry. <laughs> Hide your credit card, Ozzy. All right, here we go. Take two. So continue with what we're discussing. So we're discussing about a person who took out his lulav on the first day of Sukkot. So he is putter. So just like he's putter there, because he, he did, he thought he was doing a, 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 a mitzvah. So too, it should be the same when uh, uh, Yavam. So maybe he's putter. Dilma Goran says, no, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's not. Rabbi uh, is not holding Rabbi Yechon. Why? Because over there, he is a limited time. In other words, he has to do it right now. He has to do it right now on the first day of Sukkot. So therefore, he brought it up because he was doing a mitzvah as opposed to Yavama, right? There is no set time to go ahead and take uh, her, you know, his sister-in-law as his wife. So Allah, maybe Rabbi Shua this Vachim. Let's say Rabbi Shua of our Mishnah who said that one who is doing the mitzvah, let's say of, of shakting the, the carbon uh, uh, Pesach, um, and, uh, and and then he does it, um, so if it was uh, uh, sh- so there's a sh- uh, shilav, if it was a shlamim and he did lishma, if he would be putter or not, Rabbi Yishua says putter because he, he did a mitzvah of offering a korban. So Gemara says once again, since over there maybe the time is limited over there, it's limited to the, the 14th of Nisan. So maybe that was the reason why he's putter because he, he's limited time and therefore he was sort of rushed because of the time and that's why he does this. But Yavama, there is no time limit. Ella, the Rabbi Yishua Ketitanakos. Well, let's say Rabbi Yeshua, we discussed yesterday, you know, because in a case of, uh, in terms of giving a bris milah, if he f- did the wrong baby in the wrong day, he had two different babies in front of him, one for one for uh, either Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday, depends on which case, uh, which price you learn. And he's putter if he gives the wrong day, so I weigh he's putter, right? So, so too, our case, the, so too, you've always putter. So we'll say once again, has to be done that day. So he thinks that day that is eight, day eight, and therefore it has to be done immediately at that point. And therefore he would be uh, maybe that case, only that case is potter because of limited time, as opposed to uh, our case with the Yavama, which is not. Maybe Rabbi Shua of Shuma. What was it? What did Rabbi Shua say over there? That tonight we learned a mission. How you have a Shuma, a person was eating Shuma, and then he was informed that his father, um, that, that basically he was a Chalal. Because of uh, that, his his mother was is, was divorced or a chalutza. His father took her as a wife, and therefore he was the offspring. He's a chalal. He's not a kohen. Therefore, he's not fit to eat shuma. He eats shuma, and he is. And Rabbi Eliezer Mechayev, Ken Mechayev, Rabbi Eliezer says he's chayev, and Rabbi Shua Paiter, Rabbi Shua says he's pater because he's doing the mitzvah of eating shuma. So Dilma, so I, so you see that you pater if you're doing the mitzvah or you think you're doing the mitzvah. Maybe talking about the Chuma, he was trying to finish up, finish up his Chuma before it became Chumat on Erev Pesach, and that's the reason why, since his time was, was limited, he was forced to do it in time, and therefore uh, he would be, that's the case of Pater or Inami or Shani Chuma, Dikra Avoda, Avoda Rahman Akshar. Maybe the Chuma is different because Chuma is called Avoda. And therefore, the, uh, the, 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 the Torah says that when it comes to Voda, he's potter. The person was going ahead and offering a carbon, and then all of a sudden he realized he was the Kohen, and all of a sudden he was told that, by the way, while he was in the Avoda, your mother was a divorcee and taken by a Kohen, which is not permitted, and therefore you're a Chal, and therefore you're not fit to do the Avoda. So he said, in that case, call Kabbana, it's cool, and shake your Valgabim, Alamis Bech, Sulan. The karbanos that he brought are apostle, they have to be rebrought. And Rabbi Shua Machshir, and Rabbi Shua says it's okay. The Amrina in my time, the Rabbi Shua says, "Rabbi Shua should receive a Baruch Hashem Chelo Ufal Yadav Tirtsa." He said, "Hashem will basically will, will, will bless his, his his doings, and therefore it is accepted." So you see over there that according to uh, uh, Rabbi Shua, that he would be uh, that, um, that that he would be uh, putter in such a case. Right, because Chuma, it maybe Chuma is different because Chuma is called an Avoda, and therefore that case is Pater. But when it comes to a Yavama, right, who says won't be Pater if he is Bail a Yavama while she's in Nido? And with Chuma Hechel, you care about the way you see that Chuma is called Avoda. At the time we learned Baisa, Baisa, Rabbi Tarfon, Shalova, Emma, the Baisa Medrash. One time he didn't come at night into the Baisa Medrash. The Shachris Mazar, Rabbi Gamliel, Amr Lo, we pray my Lo, Basal, Emma, the Baisa Medrash. Why? So Rabbi Gamliel found him and he said to him, Why didn't you come last night to the Baisa Medrash? So Amr Lo. Avoid of Arati. I was I was busy with my with with the Avoda. He was a Kohen. So I'm low. Call the Bracha in an El Devir Tema. The Chavoda was on a Zemini. All your words are said with wonderment and obviously with with, with much uh, precision, right? So, is there a you know were you doing Avoda last night? There was no base of Mikdash. So I'm low. Harei who I'm there. So he says top of the page. Avoda ma avodas matanas atinus kosei es kunosechem. 
the Hazar Hakarev Yuma. So it says the Avoda uh, is the is from the Matana that was given to the Kohanim. Right? So in other words, Asu Achilas Truma the Gvulin Kavod is based on Mikdash. So therefore the eating of Truma and the Gvulin on the board is i.e. the the Kohen outside the Mikdash is just like Avoda in the base of Mikdash. So therefore he was calling it Avoda and Truma is Avoda. Therefore maybe they're eating Truma since it's Avoda, that's why you're Potter. But a case of a person who is boil his Yavama, his sister wanted to acquire her because she doesn't his brother didn't have children with her and he died. That who says uh, Rabbi Ye- uh, who says Rabbi Shu would say in that case, and therefore we don't know which Tana Rabbi Yechanan held like. Fine, two dots. Now to today's daf. Now we have a case of a person shechted it on Shabbos, right? For shalol eichlov for people for, for for people who couldn't eat it, and therefore he per- the person is chayv a chatas. Because he why because he was Michal Shabbos b'shoigeg right he he shechted the Karn Pesach which is permitted only to do it if it's done you know in a kosher way but over here since he was uh, he was shechting it for the purposes of people who can't eat it therefore he is chayv echatus so God says pshita it's obvious came in the Hasan Pasul halcha chayv since over there we said that one who goes ahead and shechts the Karn Pesach for people who can't eat it right they're too old they're too sick they can't eat it so the the it's not a good Karm Pesach. Is that a good Karm Pesach? Obviously, he's uh, Chayiv. Segura says, no, Mishun to Tana Seifa, Pater, Tana Reisha Chayiv. No, we want to say the, safe, the case of the Seifa, uh, Pater, now is when he shechs it for both people who can eat it and people who can't eat it. So therefore, we say also, we bring the case of where people who can't eat it and he's Chayiv. Segura says, well, Nami Pshita. That's also obvious. If we know, Mishun to Hazim Kasha, we know over there, we said in a couple of previous Mishnayas, we said that a person shechs a Karm Pesach for the purpose of people who can eat and can't eat. Right, it's good because you have some of the members who can eat it. So obviously, he would be potter from bringing a uh, 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 he would be from bringing a chatas. Why? Because it's a kosher karm pesach, and therefore a kosher karm pesach is permitted to take to to bring it on erev shabbat uh, on erev pesach, even if it's shabbos. So hacha uh, so hacha potter, right? Um, so obviously we know it's potter. So elo I think tana shachar shalol the shmoh shabbos tana shalol the ochav. So no, since we said also. Shaloli Shema, a person who goes ahead and has the case of a person takes a current Pesach and shechs it as a Shlomim on Er Shabbos, he is Chayib. So, so too, it says the case of, it brings the other cases of when he, when he, when he brings it for people who are not, uh, who are not uh, able to eat it. So, Gwana says, he gufa Well, why do you need that case? We know that a person brings a Shaloli Shema, right? Let's say he has his current Pesach and on Er Pesach, it's Shabbos, and he brings it as a Shlomim. Obviously, it's no good. Right, and therefore he's chayiv. So it's also pasht. Of course, there's no mishum to go by the fugly Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Shua because we want to have the opposite case, which we saw the machlokas yesterday between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shua was the case of if he had a shlamim, an animal designated as a shlamim, and all of a sudden on the 14th of Pesach he wants to go ahead and bring that shlamim as a karm Pesach. That was the machlokas as to whether it was a mitzvah or not uh, between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yeshua. Fine. Omer le. Rav Huna Barchina no Lebre says Rav Huna Barchina to his son. He also to come into Rav Zeka when he comes for Rav Zeka by him and they ask him the Divrei Aime Mekalke Bechavur Potter. So what about this? We're not going to get too much into it, um, but there's a machloekas by a couple of uh, uh, malachas on Shabbos. Right, most malachas when you go ahead and you do it, you build, you cook, you, you do things that are productive. But what about stuff that are done in a destructive manner? Right? Do those also have to be in a constructive manner? In other words, basically burning, right? If you go ahead and, and make a fire, so usually fire is constructive, right? But if you burn something and you make it for its use, or if you break something for its use, or if you check something, right, and, and it's useful, right, then it's it's constructive. So one who holds that shaftu shalal eichlov chayib, my tikin. Well, why are you chayv over there? In other words, if you shecht an animal for people who can't eat it, so therefore this current Pesach is no good. If it's no good, basically there's no use to it. You haven't done anything constructive. So why should you be chayv echatas? Because the one opinion holds that every malacha, that, that in order to be chayv for a malacha, it has to be done in a constructive manner. Okay? So even chayv even if you make a wound, it has to be, be making a wound for the purpose of being a a, a, a constructive manner, not just destructive. So what is the construction? What, what is the benefit in this case? My TK. So my answer is TK. Actually, it does help because if you go ahead and you put it on Mizbeach, you don't take it down from the Mizbeach. So therefore, the Shechita, in essence, what it do, it permitted that if he goes up on the Mizbeach, even though it's not a Kasha Karim Pesach, nevertheless, you don't remove it from the Mizbeach. I similar question. 
So also, if you shecht it, it turns out it was a Baal Mum, you're chayiv. So my tikkun, once again, since it's, it's no good, it's not, not kosher, what's the, it has a blemish, what's the, what, what was the constructive part? So tikkun, baduk and shabai, we're talking about a case of the animal had a cataract, right? The animal had a cataract, and therefore, the cataract, such a mum, is not a complete mum, and therefore, the animal was put on the bizbeach, you don't have to go ahead and remove it. And shaft of an insa trefa of the putter. If he shafts it and it turns out there was a trefa and the inside, there was a trefa, nothing, there's no way he could have seen it. Therefore, he is putter from a chatas because that's considered to be an inus, it's complete accident. So, ha, begalui chayv. But if it was a type of moon that was a, 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 of a trefa, right, that it basically external that he could see it, right, he would be chayv achatas because he should have known better. So, my tikan. So, once again, what is the constructive manner over here? So, tikan lo itzi in the veil. Right, it actually was useful. Why? Because when you do the shechita, it's a good shechita, not necessarily to go ahead and eat, but it's no longer in a So what's the point? Who cares if it's in the or not? Well, it's not in the because it was shechted, and therefore it's not matame. So since it, it, it was beneficial, the shechita of this animal with that was a trefa, the since you shechted it, it was useful because it is not it is not matame. And finally, Masla Ravino, so hi, Detanio, that which we learned in the Bible, Hashaykh al Khatas Bishabas Khusa Varazura, Chai Vla Shlesh Khatos. One who goes ahead and shechs a Khatas was supposed to be done on the inside. He does it on Shabbos. Boom. That's one uh, one Khatas he had to bring. Bachutz, he brought it outside the Mikdash. That's two. Le Varazur for Varazur, that's three. So he's Chai, three Khatos. So once again, he shechs it here. My Tikain. What is the improvement here? What is the, how is this is done? Is, how is it constructive? Samarava Vira. Because over there, it's no longer even mechai. By the fact that it was a shechita, it's no longer the limb from it is not considered even mechai in terms of uh, being matame, and therefore, uh, it, it, it was a shaila of whether it be a mutter for a guy or not, and because a guy cannot go ahead and even mechai, and this is no longer aver min hachai. Fine, two dots. Now we come to the mishnah. The mishnah says shachtu v'noida. So he shechted it. And then all of a sudden he was told that the owners basically joined another carbon uh, Pesach, right? There was another fancier uh, animal and the owners who thought we we're going to bring this animal, all of a sudden they joined another group. The Kohen checked it. He says, okay, I checked your carbon Pesach. Everything went as planned. And the people said, oh, uh, we, uh, we didn't get the message, right? We, uh, you know, we were with another group. So therefore it was a Shechted with no bile. So this, this case over there, he's putter because once again, it was considered to be an onus. So the question is, um, so now, Here's a statement that we're going to be discussing today. So, Amar Avun Amar Rav, Asham Shenitek Liria. You have an Asham, right? Now, an Asham uh, is normally is brought for a, a, a similar to a Chatos, right? There's Asham Ila, there's Asham Gazela, right? There's, there's five different cases of uh, Ashamos that are brought, but an Asham is for certain transgressions. And let's say a person set aside an Asham. Now, you can't just bring Ashams whenever you want. Like I said, it has to be done, let's say, for an Avera, right? For Asham Gazela, like we said, right? So, Let's say I, I have an asham, and then I lost it. So I go get another animal. I, I make that my asham, and I bring that asham. And also, I found the other animal. Well, what do I do with this one? So the halach is, according to most, right, that you let it go ahead and graze until it develops a mum. And once it develops a mum, right, a blemish, then you go ahead and sell it and use those funds for ola funds. Okay, so that's what you do with the leftover um, that, that's what you do with the leftover with, with, with the leftover asham. That's called the asham shenita gloria. So now you had this asham. It was set aside to go ahead and graze the shachtu stam, and then he shechs it. Kasher leola. So this animal is kasher leola. You can go ahead and if you went ahead and just shechted it, it's considered to be good for an ola, right? Even though what it was supposed to do, it was supposed to graze until it gets a blemish, and then after it gets a blemish, you sell it and then use the funds for ola. If I just, it was set aside to graze, and before it got a moom, I just shechted it as a carbon, and so it counts as an ola. Alma, what do you see there? Ksar loy by Akira, right? We see that he doesn't have to go ahead and make it an ola, right? It automatically becomes an ola, right? This is where the concept we're going to discuss, whether something is boy Akira or low boy Akira, right? Whether something needs you to, to say, this is now an ola, or... Does it automatically become an ola? And we'll soon see different ma- n- different nafkaminas. So I'm looking for by kira. See hachi kalei nami. If that's the case, so why do we need to go ahead and designate it to go ahead and graze until it develops a mum? Why don't we just say that as soon as the owner brought his carbon, wherever that animal is, it's automatically now has the kedusha of ola, right? 
So Gemara answers, because what's going to happen? If the guy all of a sudden has two animals, right? Because he found the, the first one before he offered the second one, maybe he'll go ahead and offer it as an Ola before he brings his first one. So since we're worried that if we, if we just say, okay, once the first one is brought, right? The second one, even before we say he has to go ahead and graze, right? It automatically becomes an Ola. He might bring that as an Ola first before he fulfills his, his, uh, his obligation of bringing his Asha. And we see this from the time we learned in the Mishnah, Asham Shemesu Balov. If you have an Asham, and let's say, in addition to a case of a person set aside an Asham and he loses it, what about he sets aside an animal as an Asham and then he dies? So there's Asham left over. So that's also an Asham that you normally leave out to graze. So Asham Shemesu Balov, its owner died. And if you have the animal, what do you do with the animal? Oh, Shinishapro Balov. Or let's say he got Kapara through another Asham. Yira Adshi Yistoyim. Right, let it go ahead and graze, as we said, until it goes ahead and gets a, a, a moom. The Macher, and then he sells it, he pulls double the double, and then the money goes as a Nadava, right? It goes as a Nadava for, uh, um, for an Ola. It goes as uh, offerings from the Mizbech. It's called dessert, right? The, the, the Mizbech's dessert. And Rabbi Ezraimer, Yamus, let it go ahead and die, right? We leave it like a Chatas. A Chatas, you actually leave it out. It doesn't eat it. You don't feed it, and it dies. That's what you do with the Chatas. Whose owner died? You do that with the animal. But Ashram, you don't have to let it, let it die. You can let it graze until it develops a moon, and then you go ahead and buy an ola. And Rabbi Shua, I'm there. Yimacher v'yavi b'dam of ola. No, go ahead and sell it and let it bring a, a, from its money an ola, very similar to the Tanakam. So Gemara sounds like b'dam of in of Abu Gufalo. It sounds like you can only do it with his money. You can't it itself, right? It, you don't bring that as an ola. Now, why not? Why can't you bring that animal's ola? Why do you have to wait till it develops a moon, sell it, then use that money for an ola? Just bring this animal's an ola. So, the gazer le'achel kapara, otu lifnei kapara. Because it must be that because if we allow him to go ahead and, 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 and offer it itself, then he might come do it before, right, the owner brings his asham. So, therefore, since we're worried that he's going to bring his asham as an ola before he's, the, the owner fulfills his obligation with his second asham, right? Because his replacement asham. So therefore, we say you never, you should never go ahead and bring it. Rather, um, let it graze until it develops a moon, and only then sell it. Fine. Two lines from the bottom. Now, Ravuna, he was the one who brought this to the B'Shem Rab, right? He was the one who says that Yishech um, Stam, then Yishech uh, Stam, then it's good as an ola, right? You don't have to go ahead and uh, uh, change it, right? It automatically changes right? in terms of the Akira. Now, Now, let's look at our case of our Mishnah. First, in Shechzit, and all of a sudden, he was told afterwards, oh, by the way, there's no more owners anymore, right? So we say he's potter. Now, we know that a, 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 a carbon Pesach, right? If it's not brought in Pesach, it becomes a Shlomim, all right? It becomes a Shlomim. So now the question is, do you have to go ahead and make it a shlamim, or does it automatically become a shlamim? Right? Does the kedusha automatically become that? So let's see. So top of the page, Britannia, Tanya it says over there, Bechol, if it was done during the week, yeah, I got in such a case. You start You have to you burn it immediately. Now, there's carbonos, right? That we say that once there's a psul, it has to be destroyed. Some of them, if it's a, a problem with the animal itself, right, then you can burn it immediately. But if it's an outside type of psul, then you have to wait till it gets either a physical blemish or you wait till it's the next morning, till it's nicer, and then you burn it, but you don't burn it, right? Because it's considered to be bizarre. But over here, we say you can burn it right away, okay? You burn it right away if, remember, he brought a, a carbon Pesach, there's no, it's ownerless because the owners actually jumped on to another carbon Pesach. So he shechled it, no owners. You could burn it immediately. All right, now let's see. So I understand if you say it requires an Akira. It's a high Pesach. In other words, really, you have to go ahead and make it a, this is no longer carbon Pesach. This is a shlum. All right, and he didn't do that, right? It's a high Pesach. Therefore, since he, in order to change the Kedusha, he would have to do an Akira to change it, right, to uproot it, right, with his own mouth, but he doesn't. So therefore, high Pesach, it's still considered a Karm Pesach, but even the less I bought him, and since it's a Karm Pesach without any owners, how will Psul Bakufo? It's considered to be a Psul Bakufo. And that's why you go ahead, you got to go ahead and burn it immediately. 
Akira, but if you hold that he doesn't require Akira, in other words, it turns into a Shlam automatically. So therefore it was a Shlamim, Sulam Shumai. What's the Psul in this in this Shlamim, right? Because of something else, right? An outside type of psul, which is what? Because we know the Karim Pesach is brought after the Bainer Baim. As we saw earlier in the Masechta, you bring the Karim Tamid in the afternoon, either at, at 12 30 or 1 30, depends if it's, it's the weekday or, or, or Shabbos, right? But you bring it then, and then the Karim Pesach is afterwards. But any other Karban is puzzle after the Bainer Baim. So if this this current Pesach, was, which it was originally shechted as, is now a shlamim, right? So therefore, there's a psul now in this shlamim because it was shechted after the the, the Tami ben Arbayin. And therefore, Ibor Tzura Boy, therefore it has to go ahead and you need a physical change in the animal in order to burn. You can't burn it, right? Uh, immediately, the time is under the price is that cloud. You start me at anything that psul begufo, as we mentioned earlier, then you can burn it right away. However, bedam uvebalim, but if there's a problem, let's say the blood was spilled or it became Tome, or the owners either withdrew, or there were no, or they died, whatever it is, Tuba or Tzura, so then you have to go ahead and uh, let it go ahead and do some sort of physical change, and then the Yasa Beis then take out to the base of Strafa. So what do you see over here? So it's Akasha, right? It's Akasha, and we see over here that um, it, it, if you say, Lobay Akira, why are you allowed to burn it right away? You should have to go ahead and, and wait until there's some sort of physical change. So Elo like Tama, rather let's change the statement of Rav Huna Rab. Don't say we, that which he said was Shakhu Stam Kashul Shumola, be Shekhsit, right? Then uh, when it was designated to graze, then it's good as an Ola. Rather say Shakhul Shum Ola, if he goes ahead and Shekhs as an Ola, i.e., he does an Akira, then Kasher. Then it's Kasher. So Gemara says, Alma. So what are you going to see from here? By Akira. So now maybe we're going to ask the other way now. So what do you see? Boy Akira, I love Chia Bergamda, the Amar Korn Reb Chia Bergamda, who said, Nizrko mi pi Chaburu, the they said, from amongst the, 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 the students of the Chaburu, they said, Kagon Shahoyu Balim Tamei Mesim. Let's say that the owners, right, were a case, uh, were, were, were Tamei Mesim. They were Tamei Mesim, and it wasn't, it wasn't a case of everybody in B'nai Israel was, or the majority was. Rather, they, this one group was, they were Tamei Mesim, they were the same household, and they all became Tamei at the same time. And therefore, they were being pushed off to the Pesach Sheni, and they could also use their animal, right? The animal doesn't run out of Kedusha, right? So the animal was designated for this, you know, Pesach, and all of a sudden they became Tomei. So we're going to use it for next, you know, for in a month for Pesach Sheni. Right? It sounds like that case, right, requires an Akira, because that case, it's still a Pesach. Ha Biyama. But it sounds like generally, right, if they weren't going to go ahead and Pesach Sheni, right, then this current Pesach would automatically turn into a Shlomim, right? How be Amalad by Akira? So my Yikla Meir, what do you say then? So Ella, Amar Rav Huna, Brev Yoshua, Hachma, Eskinan, Kigoyin, Shefrish, Kaidem, Chatzos. Rather, over here, we're talking about a case of where they set aside the animal, right, before Chatzos, right, on Erev Pesach. And then they died after Chatzos. The Havile Nira the Nidcha, right? It was a case of it really it was set, it was it was fit to go ahead and be put on the Mizbeach. And then it was pushed off, right? Then it was Nidcha, right? It's Dikhwi. Dikhwi is something once something becomes puzzle for a mitzvah, it can no longer right be subject, you know, be 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 kosher again, right? So over here. It was fit to be said. I was designated before Chatzos, and then after Chatzos, it was ready to be a Karim Pesach, and then the owners died. So this is considered to be a case of Nira Venidcha. At one time, it was Kosher, and then it became Pesel. And once something was, was once upon a time good and then became bad, it can no longer be good again. So, uh, so in this case, so, um, so it says, so, uh, so therefore in this case, um, it should over here be something that does not re uh, require an Akira, right? It sounds like something which would be, would become bad on its own. So, so this is only according to Rav. Remember, Rav Huna said in the name of, uh, of Rav. And Rav holds, right, that Bali Chaim never get pushed off. So since the animal was alive, right, it's not considered to be dichu. It's not considered to be pushed off automatically that it doesn't require an Akira because according to Rav, an animal which is, if something is dead, right, or uh, it, it's not alive, right, so then once it becomes possible, it can no longer become kosher. But a live animal, the, the halachas don't apply the same according to Rav. 
So Elam Rav Papa, Hamani, whose opinion is this? This is Rebbe Yezri. This is the opinion of Rebbe Yezri. The Amar, the Chain, Hashaychid, Achei, and the Shem, Pesach, Pasul. Right? If one goes ahead and uh, 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 you go ahead and shech acherim, right? To other karbanos, let's say ashlamim, for the, for the purpose of a karban pesach, then it is puzzle, right? To have a psula bagufo, because this is considered to be a psula bagufo. So, is a psula bagufo, then you can go ahead and burn it right away. So, Mar says, Vi Rabbi Yezer, he, if this is a psula bagufo, chad is not a So, remember, we're talking about a case of where. The, uh, the the other kabbalas are brought, and then we said that the owner is withdrew, and we say such a case is considered to be an onus. And our mission said he is putter from bringing a korban chatas because even though it was brought in Shabbos, because it was an onus, because the owners withdrew. However, if you say it's Rebbe Yezer, he Rebbe Yezer, he chatas, he should be required to be a chatas. The hall less later Rebbe Yezer toya b'davar mitzvah putter because he, he as opposed to Rabbi Yeshua, right, holds that if one does a mistake while trying to do a mitzvah, he is putter, right. He doesn't hold like that. That's only Rabbi Yeshua. So he should be hired to bring a chadis. So Ella rather will say it's basically Rabbi Yezer, but not like Rabbi Yezer. What do you mean? Ella takim Rabbi Yezer bere derav salah chasida kamei derav papa. So says Rabbi Yezer bere derav salah chasida said for Rabbi papa. Hamani Yosef ben Chunahi. It's going to be Yosef ben Chunahi. Tonight we're going to the Mishnah. Yosef ben Chunahi Omer ha nishchatim l'shem pasach l'shem chadis b'sula. Other carbonos. That I shechet as a as a as, as a karb pesach are pasul alma psul begufa who so what do you see there since they're pasul therefore it's a psul begufa and therefore, therefore since it's psul begufa you can go ahead and burn it right away right however umishum hachi you struck me I think therefore you can burn it now upturi but however when it comes to bringing a chatas that he does in other words that he does not hold like Rabbi Yezer rather he holds like several like Rabbi Shua he holds like Rabbi Shua who holds that one who goes ahead and uh, brings such a carbon, he is actually putter because he was doing a mitzvah or he thought he was doing a mitzvah and therefore he's putter. And Ravashi Omar, Rav, De Omar, Karabi Shmuel, Ben Osher, Rabbi Yechem, Broka. Really, Rav holds, right? Rav Yechem, Rav, this case, he, he must hold like Rabbi Shmuel, the son of Rabbi Yechem, and Broka, the time with Rabbi Yechem, Rabbi Shmuel, Ben Osher, Rabbi Yechem, and Broka, Oimer, Im Yeh Shehus B'yoyim, Lieda Imash Kubali, Mesireim, O Shemei, So Shitmu, Chayim. If there is time in the day, right, to know, right, if the owner is basically withdrew or they died or they became tame, then he is chayv for bringing a chatas, right? And therefore, since in such a case he is chayv, right, so we don't say it's an animal should be burnt uh, immediately. Rather, it's considered to be um, uh, an outside psulat, right? My time. So what's the reason why you have to wait for it to have some sort of physical blemish and then burn it or leave it overnight for it to become nicer and then burn in the morning, right? So my time, lava should do boy like kira, right? Is it not because he doesn't require a kira? In other words, it automatically becomes a shlumim, right? And therefore a shlumim, right? The issue over here, the psul over here is that it was brought after uh, 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 after the tummy bin Arbayim. So Gemara says, "Not me, my Dilma Mishum the Sevela Katana Debe Rabba Baravua. Maybe he holds like the Tanvi Ravua the Omar Afilu Pigol Nami by Ibert Sura the Yalif of an of an of an Now, is no, your whole premise is wrong. Everyone doesn't agree that if it, if it's a Psul Bagufo, then you could burn it right away. But if it's outside Psul, then you have to Tanvi Ravua. So even an outside Psul, such as even if it was a, it became a Shlomim automatically." And therefore, the psul in it, in this this carbon, because it, it was ownerless, became a shlamim, became a shlamim. I shecht it after the tummy to bear and bind. So therefore, that's possible. And all psulim, you can burn immediately. You don't have to go ahead and wait. Ibert uh, Surah, because they learn it from Nisar, there it gets destroyed. Dilo temahachi, because you don't say this case. Needs mu bailam ma'ikla meimer. What about the case when the, when the owners became tummy? Havade by Akira. In such a case, you would have to go ahead. If they became Tommy, you need Akira. You need to say that this right was a Shlamim. Dama Rebchia Bargamda. Nizu got me be Chabu. They explained from the from the from the from the class. Kigon Shay Balan to a Mason. Venidich Le Pesach Shani. That the animal was still good, right? They, they just became Tommy. So the animal is still good, right? Um, and therefore, it, it really, it's still a Karim Pesach because it's, it, or it's still a Pesach and it's waiting for in a month, right? And therefore, this animal is good. So, in order, the only way for it to become a Shlomim is to do an Akira. So, since it has to be an Akira, it's, we're not talking about a case of, um, 
uh, we're, we're not talking about a case of uh, that it doesn't require key. It must be required in a key. And therefore, he would have to go ahead and require it to have, uh, not require for it to have a physical blemish, and therefore he can go ahead and burn it right away. Rather, don't say, like we just said, that uh, it was according to uh, Rabbi Yechman, uh, Rabbi uh, like Rabbi Shmuel Rabbi Yechman rather go according to the first Teretz that holds like Rabbi Yezer in terms of that all these types you can go ahead and burn immediately. However, uh, but, and he holds like uh, Rabbi Yeshua that you're potter from bringing a chatas. All right, we'll stop here. Hajna Lach, Elu, Dvarim, Mazel Tov, and Shemim, 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 Shemim,